Hello everyone and welcome to another short video of tutorials and tips. I've been doing a lot of this, especially around the LumaFusion app, because I feel that the better you can improve your work around this app, the more videos you can create. But in this channel we also make tech and app reviews, so please consider subscribing. Ok, so today I'm gonna show you how you can easily create animated color titles like this for free using the Keynote app that you can use on your LumaFusion projects. So let's jump right into it. And to start, let's open the Keynote app, create a new presentation and set the background to black. On the top right corner, I'll press the plus sign and then on the base shape menu select line. With the line selected, on the top right corner I'll press the brush sign so I can set how the line will look like. I'll set the color, the width and the arrow heads. I wanted to have a round arrow head on one side and none on the other one, because I want it to look like it's been drawing. I'll show you further down in the video how to do it. The first line is done, so I'll create a new one and do the same kind of adjustments, but this time it will be a no horizontal line because that's on it that the animated text will show up. And I will join the two lines so it looks that it's just one line. The first part of the animation is already created. Now I'll create the text. I want a two part text, one to go on the top of this line and the other to go on the bottom of it. Once again I'll tap the plus button and select add text. I'll do the adjustments needed to the text by pressing the brush icon and then write the text that I wish. Once I've done that, I'll duplicate it so it's faster to write the second text. I'll just make an adjustment to make it a little smaller so it looks like a subtitle. It's time now to animate the composition. I'll animate the lines first and then both texts. To do so, I'll tap the first line and select Animate and I'll add a built-in. I'll choose Line Draw. And now I'll do the same to the second line. Once the lines are done, I'll move to the text. For the built-in, I'm choosing the cube animation from bottom to top and for the built-out, I'm choosing the wipe animation from the right. I'll apply the same effect for the subtitle text. So I have now all the parts of the call-out animation. It's time to make a few adjustments so the line drawing shows up first, then the animated text. After a few seconds, the text and the callout must disappear. Let's see how does it look. Very nice. Ok, it's time to export it to the LumaFusion app. Once it's done, it's time to open the LumaFusion app and here either I use it straight away to my project and for that I remove the background through the blending modes or the keyout menu or if you want to create a preset of it without background, I'll do so on a new project, apply either the blending mode or the keyout and export it as a Havoc without transparency. Nothing new here as I've shown you how you can use both methods on previous videos that you can check out. And that's it, yet another great and easy way of creating animated text to improve your editing work with the LumaFusion app. Ok beautiful people, hope you found it useful. I'll see you in my next video.